Hello everyone and welcome to another mini episode of Pretty Peculiar. As usual, today we're going to discuss a strange and interesting case. I finally made my Instagram at Pretty Peculiar Podcast and my Twitter at Pretty Peculiar P. Let's get right into it. Do the subtle sounds of a friend's breathing send you into overdrive? Does the gnash of someone's chewing make you want to leap from the nearest window? Does rhythmic finger tapping ignite an unexplainable rage inside of you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you might have heard of misophonia. Misophonia is a disorder in which certain sounds trigger emotional responses that some might perceive as unreasonable. The reactions can range from anger and annoyance to panic and even the need to flee. You may have heard of misophonia, but not many know about Havana syndrome. Havana syndrome is a set of unexplained medical symptoms first experienced by U.S. State Department personnel stationed in Cuba beginning in late 2016. At that time, those diplomats had been dispatched to Cuba as part of restoration of diplomatic ties between the two countries. Since the initial cases, diplomats and intelligence officers stationed around the world have experienced similar symptoms. Those affected reported a range of conditions including dizziness, headache, hearing of sudden loud noises, pain in one or both ears, feeling of vibrations in the head, tinnitus, vertigo, visual problems, nausea, and even cognitive problems. In some cases, some officers experienced memory loss and have left active service due to complications from the condition. So what do Havana syndrome and misophonia have in common? Why even talk about them in the same episode? Well, initially, investigators believed the syndrome was the result of an attack by a sonic or acoustic weapon. A review conducted by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine identified pulse radio frequency energy as the most likely culprit. An examination of the brains of 40 of the people affected by the syndrome found some evidence of brain abnormalities. This led to public speculation that Russia or another foreign power might be deploying a weapon or using radio frequency technology against intelligence diplomats all over the world. The Cuban government has avidly denied they're responsible and many American investigators believe them because we still don't know what's causing the illness. Was it a new type of weapon? The CIA claims it doesn't know of any such weaponry existing that could cause these symptoms. What about ultrasound? like the feedback you get when you stand too close to a microphone with another. But the FBI has found no evidence to support that. In fact, ultrasound is above human hearing. In November 2018, researchers worked with a group called Jason, which is an advisory group who frequently works with the State Department over scientific matters of national security, and found evidence that at least eight of all the 21 cases of Havana syndrome were, quote, most likely caused by insects. The Jason group was provided an audio sample from the time the symptoms occurred. While cross-referencing the recording with sound clips provided by various insect species, scientists determined with, quote, high confidence that the offending noise had come from the noisy Indies short tail cricket. A CIA probe is currently underway to investigate a possible energy attack. Meanwhile, Jason is quoted as saying, sonic beams are highly unlikely to be involved in the incident. They blamed instead the psychological effects of group hysteria. I hope you guys found this case as interesting as I did. It sends me little shivers that people can be affected just by noise. I hope to see you guys on Friday for my next episode. Thanks so much. Love you all.